Well, to avoid bragging, this is going to be a vlog about the website that produced the product because I am proud of them. They did an excellent, excellent job and the price is excellent, excellent. All right, this is going to be a review of Kunaki. Okay, so maybe you've heard about it. It's supposed to be a popular site for getting DVDs. Okay, let me see if I can get this so it doesn't glare. I have a light on the side. There we go. This is my DVD, and it looks really good because, see now, I just learned how to make my pictures all 300 dpi, so these weren't. But I will make them all 300 dpi in the future. So this is the back, and it has my real road, and the logo, and the picture, and the bottom, and there's the spine in the middle. So I'm still a work in progress, I am learning. And there's our Friel crest and apples, because we were apple farmers, and all that jazz. So, and now, that's not all of it. Yup. Have you ever seen such a good job? And Kunaki is super cheap, super cheap. There's like one dollar a piece for these. A dollar a piece. Alright, so this is your little piece of paper that they stick in to make it look pretty. And I did this collage of family photos. And then this is the DVD. I did another collage of family photos. And you can see it looks just as beautiful. For those of you who saw me post how it, you know, the virtual preview, it looks just as beautiful in person as it did in the virtual preview. So look at that gorgeousness. And the menus, menus are fine. Everything was fine. And I was scared at first, because the first time I did it, I didn't think it was uploading, because it says you can upload as an MOV or MP4. Other sites tell you you can't. You have to have an author DVD. So I was freaking out. And then here, it uploaded even though it was just an MOV file. And so we got the proof from that, and it just played immediately. There's just no menu on it. It played on, my, on our, VC, our DVD player, and it was fine. And then I went back and I did an authored version at ISO and with a menu and chapters and everything. And then we uploaded the ISO. ISO uploaded a lot faster. And use Chrome browser when you're uploading. I have used Firefox. It took like a week <laughs> the first time. And Chrome, it took like one day or like six hours. So upload ISO and use Chrome. And this is my DVD. It's gorgeous. And like I said, they don't cost much. And I'm probably going to drop ship to family. And I hope to do more projects. Only one problem with Kunaki you might want to watch out for is that you have to have a sale at least every six months or they will delete your product, okay? So that's something to watch out for. So if you want to publish through Kunaki, you want to make sure you buy a few copies every six months or, you know, make sure you get all the copies you want before that time runs out, okay? So... I guess I do recommend Kanaki. I was worried because they don't have customer service and that kind of scared me. But everything turned out fine, so I guess I have no complaints. So I recommend it. And I'd say yes. And but you do have to do the designs yourself. You have to design the front, the back, the inside jacket, and the, and the thing. And they have templates for you. They you know, have things you can design on and help you get it right. So I had trouble downloading it, so I just screen, because I'm a Mac user, so I just screenshot it and saved it to my desktop. And now that I know better, I can save, make it a 300 DPI. So I will do it in the future. So that's my review of Kunaki, and they seem like a really good service, and I'd use them again. Okay, talk to you later.